Hello Brick Smarties, Brick Smarty here. Okay, so today I've got some alternates from a new set, the LEGO 31112 Wild Lion set. This is a lovely little set with lots of nice small brackets, slopes and inverted slopes. There are no jumper plates and not quite as many ball and socket pieces, eyes or bricks as I would like for a lot of alternates, but it might be quite interesting what could be built with two of these sets. But for today, I'm going to stick to the one set. So here we have the Tall and Small Safari. These are seven completely new MOCs of my own design. These animals all come from the African plains. People usually think of Africa's Big Five when they think of animals from the African savanna. But there's an amazing range from tall to small that sometimes gets overlooked. So here are the giraffe, the meerkat, the tortoise, the hyena, the gazelle, the cobra, and the tiny elephant shrew. These MOCs are all alternates of the 31112 set, joining the wild lion, ostrich, and warthog of the original set to make 10 alternates in all. We'll take a look at all these models today, and I will include the digital builds for two of these in this video. Today's featured builds are the Gazelle and the Elephant Shrew. If you'd like to see the builds for the others, just let me know in the comments below. Or if you'd rather work for instructions that look like this, you can buy them over on Rebrickable. Just click on the link below. But before we get any further into this, if you like my content, please like, share and subscribe to Bricksmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my upcoming MOCs. I'm also getting a lot more active on Instagram these days, so please follow me there and use the hashtag BrickSmartWorkshop to tag your photos when you post builds with these MOCs or when you'd like to show me your own MOCs. I must just give a quick shout out to Burr Can, who loves to watch my videos and build all my MOCs. So thanks for your support and keep up the good work. And don't forget to check out the merch shelf below this video for a range of unique witty t-shirts featuring some of my most popular MOCs. My son and I love our Leglodon t-shirts. He's got a red one and I've got the same in black. So if you've got any feedback or if there's any t-shirts you'd like to see, please let me know. So let's take a look at the animals. The giraffe is an incredible animal we're all very familiar with. It's an African mammal and the tallest living terrestrial animal and largest ruminant. Their size and long legs allow them to stay clear of most predators and if a lion gets a bit close for comfort, they can usually see them off with a sharp kick. I was really pleased with how the head shape turned out, so I hope you like this one too. Next up we have the meerkat. The meerkat is right at home on the African savannah along with the lion, giraffe, hyena, tortoise and others. They are cute, highly social, burrowing animals, taking in turns to look out, hunt and babysit. They are very successful as a species despite having a lot of predators. This model is highly poseable but the hip joints could be stiffer, so you will need to use the tail to help it stand up securely. Next is the tortoise. The tortoise is another creature that lives on the African savanna. They have a different approach to survival than most other land animals. They are slow and use their shells for protection. Clearly this approach is successful as tortoises are ancient and can live a very long time. I do like this set but it is a little short on hinge or ball and socket joint pieces and it took me a while to figure out a good way to attach the tail. But I was very happy with how this MOC came out in the end. Okay, so next up we have the hyena, another animal that lives on the African plains. The hyena is a heavy set beast that can scare a cheetah off its kill. The scavenging hyena is the animal everybody loves to hate, but this poorly understood carnivore actually hunts most of its own food in packs, is intelligent, and has a highly developed social structure. Next we have the gazelle. Gazelles are preyed on by all major African plains predators, including the lion and hyena. The gazelle can reach speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and can jump high with stiff legs, known as stotting or pronking, possibly to display their vigour to deter predators, or possibly just for fun. This model is highly poseable if you want to try a bit of stotting or pronking. Next is the cobra. There are a few species of cobra that live on the African savanna, along with the lion, giraffe, hyena, tortoise and meerkats. An adult meerkat wouldn't stand a chance against a cobra by itself, but as a group, meerkats will mob a cobra and make it think twice about approaching their burrow again. 
This model is highly poseable and has no trouble being balanced in the reared up position so long as your ball and socket parts aren't too worn out. Lastly we have the elephant shrew. There are many different species of elephant shrew that live in all the different habitats of Africa including the savannah along with the other animals I've done in this series of MOCs. Amazingly they are more closely related to elephants than to shrews. They eat insects and grubs with their long tongues. They can run fast and jump high to catch insects and escape predators using complex paths they make in tall grass. This set does lack jumper plates but I came up with a nice way to attach the trunk using the hole at the end of the modified round-ended 3x2 plate pieces. Ok, well that's a look at all 7 tall and small safari MOCs. Let's build a couple of them now. So here's the gazelle. Let's build.
was a gazelle build. Let's take a look at the elephant tree build now.
And that was the Elephant Shrew. If you'd rather work from instructions that look like this, you can buy them at rebrickable.com. Just follow the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. You made it this far, so why not give us a like or make a comment below? Click here if you'd like to see some of the LEGO Deep Sea Creatures series, or here if you'd like to see some of my other LEGO digital builds. And don't forget to subscribe to BrickSmart Workshop so you don't miss any of my new MOCs. Thank you.